Okay, here's my unicorn. Isn't it cute? And I got to put it together at Cricut headquarters. So if you want to see how to make this, keep watching the video and I'll show you how to make the hair a different color. You are watching Melody Lane. With me you're gonna have a great crafting time. Hi everyone, it's Melody Lane, and I'm going to show you how I did that unicorn. I just showed you at the beginning of this video. So if you're on here, this is where I usually start because I just go to this URL right here, us.cricut.com slash design slash hashtag slash canvas. So we want to go to the Make It Now projects. So I'm going to click on File, and I'm going to click on Make It Now. It's asking me if I want to save the project, but I don't have one, so I'm going to click No. And we're going to go down here and we're going to look for the 3D unicorn. Here is the 3D giraffe and here's the unicorn right here. Now I'm not going to show you how to put this together. There's already a video on how to put it together right over here. If you click this unicorn assembly video, it will show you how to put it together. But I'm gonna show you how I changed the hair and the horn. I'm gonna show you how I changed the hair and the horn to be different colors. So we're gonna go ahead and click on customize. I'm gonna add pattern paper to this. And because of that, I can't share it. So I will make another one without the pattern paper. So you can use your own paper and I will share it with the people who support me on Patreon. First, we're gonna move this down so we can see more of the project. You just click zoom right down here in the bottom left corner. Now, if we wanna size it, this is the time to do that. I'm gonna make it just a little bit bigger. I can't tell yet what size it is, but when I ungroup it, we can. While it's grouped together, I am going to close out these numbers. I'm not going to delete them because we may need these again when we try to put the unicorn together. So we're just going to hide them for now, and by doing that, we're going to go over here in the Layers panel and click on the eye for each one that has a number. We don't want to delete it. We just want to hide it. If you prefer to keep it on, you can keep it on, but it's going to write near your cutout, but not on the cutout. So I just want to use it as a guide later. Now we can cut this out as it is, and it'll look just like the picture of the unicorn. You don't need to do any of this, but I want the hair to be a different color. So in order to do that, I have to select somewhere on here, so there's a box around it, and click on group. This is the biggest piece, I think. Let's see, this is 1015. I could make this a little larger if I wanted, but to do that, we would need to group them all again. And by doing that, we would click select all, go to the layers panel and group. So they're all the same size again. Let's go over here to the bottom corner, select it again and make it a little bigger. Let's see how big that is. Click ungroup. I'm checking this as the largest piece because on the Cricut mat, it will only cut 11.5 by 11.5, 10.99. So let's just keep it at that for now. So they will all cut on the mat. So that's how you size it to the size you want. If you have a 12 by 24 mat, you may be able to do it bigger. Okay, now let's work on the hair. I am going to make this smaller for now. And we're gonna start with the middle piece. I'm gonna go to the layers panel and I'm gonna click down here in the bottom right and duplicate. And I need to add a shape. I'm gonna use a circle. Okay, so now I'm gonna slice this image so I can cut off the hair and the horn. So I have the circle and I'm gonna unlock it and change the shape a little bit. Okay, and I'm gonna duplicate it. We're gonna need this a few more times. Let's just move those out of the way. And we're gonna bring that down here and I'm gonna turn it. And I gotta think about where I want to cut off and have the hair a different color. So I think I'm gonna do that. Now when I select this and hit Command on a Mac or Shift on a PC and then click this, look, slice is not showing up. Do you know why? If you've watched my videos before, you do know why because this is an attached image. There is the number attached to it and a score line attached to it. 
So before we do anything else, we need to just select this and click Detach. Now when we select it, it's only one image. So to slice, you can only use one image at a time. So I'm going to click that and let's find the circle that we're using. Oh, it is the bottom circle. Click Command or Shift, click this. So now they're both selected and we can see they're both selected because of the light blue color here in the layers panel and slice is lit up. Let's click it. Okay, now is slice these apart. So we can move, let's move this out of the way. We have the score line here that was detached and we're gonna put a box around all that because we don't need it anymore and just click the X. Okay, now this is funny looking. I don't want it to look like that. Let's take another shape, select the shape, select the other image and cut it off. But you know what, I think I can do this all at once. Let's unlock it. Let's make it bigger. We're going to turn it a little, make it even bigger. There we go. Click that, click that. It's all one image. Click slice. There. Now we have this separated. Put a box around that. Get rid of that. Now we have the hair and the horn. Now if you just want to save this and do this in another color, you could leave it just as it is. But I don't want to do that. I want to print with digital paper. And because I want to print, you can't print as big as you can cut regular paper. So I'm going to separate these so I can print. So I'm going to take this and move it over just the horn and select everything and click slice. So now we just want to move that out of the way and that. Actually, I'm going to keep this. We're going to mirror it so we can put it on the other side because we're going to cut this out and then this that I print, I'm just going to stack right on top of that, glue it right on top. And I want to put one on each side so it's another color. We're going to cut this hair off. This image and this one over here are exactly the same. They're just on each side of this one. So we're going to do the same thing to this. We're going to take the hair off. Let's move it. Let's unlock this. Actually, let's, let's do it all at one time. So it's totally covering everything we don't need. And we're going to select them both and slice. And did you see what I forgot to do? I forgot to detach it. Let's go ahead and duplicate it first. Put the good one back. This one we're going to detach. So then we're going to select this and the circle and we're going to slice. And I think I sliced off a little bit of its hair, so I'm going to undo. Let's move it up just a little and do it again. Slice. There we go. So let me grab all of this and get rid of it. Okay, now let's change these to the color that we want. We're going to make these print. So I'm going to click on here and change it to print and click on pattern. I'm going to use one of my uploaded digital papers. So I'm going to click on uploaded and I'm going to choose this one. Ooh, I kind of like that just the way it is. It's a little different than they did for the one at Cricut. Just a little bit. It's the same paper. I'm going to keep that as it is. I'm going to duplicate it. And when you're doing a pattern like this, you want to duplicate it after you have the pattern on it. And let's click edit and this one because one of these will be up here this will be there but then we also need to put this one on the other side because I'm gonna cut this out on white paper and then glue this on top of that white paper so we have that done that will be the other side and if you want you could change the color of the beard of the unicorn I choose to just do the top so let's do this one we're going to go to the layers panel and click on the scissors and click on print, then click pattern right under that and click the same pattern. And we can edit that pattern. Hmm. I want to do, have it show more of the yellow. We're going to do it 
this way. So it's a little ombre. Let's duplicate that and go to edit and flip it. So now we have one for this side and one that will go on the other side of the other one. And then we have the horn. Let's change that to print. And patterns, choose the same pattern or a different one. You can do it any way you like. Oh, I like that. Maybe just keep that the way it is. I think so. It's beautiful. Let's go ahead and duplicate this and edit and mirror. So now you have one to put on each side. Let's change the color of the unicorn because I want it to be white. And I also want this piece to be white. This is the back piece. I'm going to change that to white. The other one, I'm going to keep in a different color because I'm going to use faux leather on that one. So let's go to sync. It's much easier. Oh, but I forgot one thing. This, I also want to put in this color. So let's go back to layers. Let's change that to print, pattern, and here. So I'm just going to leave that as it is. Now we'll go to sync. And everything in this blue I want white, so I'm just going to drag that blue stripe up to the white. And there we are. We're ready to cut. Let's hit go. So now it's going to print this page, and this one, and this one. And then cut out all of these. And you can move these pieces around on the mat to help save paper. So that will save some paper. You can save the edges, or you can fit it on 8.5 by 11 paper. So you hit go and print out your pieces and cut them out, just like you do any other printing cut. And now, when it's time to put them together, you want to unhide all of these again. Watch the video from the Make It Now project directions. So now you can see the numbers, and it will help you put these together. Once you get this all cut out, I glue these pieces on the middle piece first, and then I see which one will go on the outside, and then glue these pieces to the outside of these heads. And then you start here and follow the directions in the video. I will put a link to that video up in the upper right hand corner of this video, so you can find it easily. And I'll put a link to the Make It Now project in the description of this video. Before I go, I want to show you the digital paper I used for the unicorn. This is my Sherry set, and you get six different papers. This is also what I've used on the outside of my website. So this is how you find it. Here's home when you go to MelodyLaneDesigns.com. And you'll see more here. And then you can click on Catalog. And then it will show all of my digital paper, and they're in alphabetical order. So go down to Sherry, and don't forget to get the free sample. Click on Sherry, and then you just add it to your cart, and then click up here, and then this is where you buy it, and you can download it as soon as you buy it, and you'll also get an email notification with a link to download it also. Thanks for watching everyone, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and click like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Here's a shout out to a few of the people who support me on Patreon. Thanks guys! Robin, Tori, Wanda, Lasagna, Carmen, Diane, Chris, Tracy, Michelle, Mom's Baby, Regina, Terry, Mary, Carla, Tina, Judy, Kathy, Kathleen, Sheila, Jane, Linda, Daryl, Lynn, Belinda, Sally, Denise, Anne Marie, Evelyn, Donna, Nita, Barbara, Deborah, and Betty. Thanks guys so much.